Hey YouTube! So for Halloween I wanted to make my own paper mache mask. So I was thinking I would teach you guys how I'm going about it and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so for the first thing I did was I made um, flour and water paste. I tried to get all the lumps out but it's kind of hard. Um, you can kind of see it's like a really bad gravy consistency. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have been saying to use the plaster you use to make casts, but I didn't feel like going and getting any. So what I did is I used surgical gauze. I don't know why I had it laying around the house, but I did. So I cut some of it up into big strips. I cut some really little pieces. They don't exactly have to look pretty. In fact, I think it's better if you cut them up kind of crappy, I guess, because then the fibers are going to get stuck in the glue butter. Because we're going to apply it directly to our face and we don't want it to stick, the medium you want to use is Vaseline, or generic petroleum jelly, as I'm cheap. So we're just going to rub it all over our face, and it's gross. Okay, so now that we have it all over our face, we want to make sure that we get the eyebrows, the eyelids as close to the nose as possible, and up along the hairline and the very edge of the cheek line. Now because I want to make an extended neck piece with mine, I'm going to continue putting the Vaseline down even lower, which is why I have my shirt like this. So. Alright, now that that's done, and you look like you're slimy as hell, we're going to start putting on the gauze. Now, as I said before, a lot of people have been using plaster cast um, stuff for this, or they used plaster of Paris to make a mold of their face. I'm not that talented, I don't have time for that much stuff. So. Um, the one thing I wouldn't recommend is everyone starts out with newspaper. I'm not sure if newspaper would be the best medium for this because you want to kind of have like a solid base. So as I said, I'm using ugh, surgical gauze that I just had laying around the house. Um, I also found an ace bandage, but it's white and it's pretty thin. So I may actually end up using that for the eye screens. So what we're going to do now is start out at the hairline, work our way around, and then obviously you want to do the mouth, then as close to the eyes, and then the nose last so you can breathe. Um, if you do decide to do this with Ah, uh, that's funny. If you do decide to do this with the plaster of Paris, you may need to put straws in your nose. Like, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that, you know, on Face Off or whatever. So, what I saw other people do was they just use the cast stuff and ended up just putting it on their face. So I'm gonna try that method and if it doesn't seem like it's working I will dip it in my glue. But hopefully the Vaseline will be sticky enough and wet enough that this will kinda get a solid form. And again I'm getting as close to my hairline as absolutely possible. I'm going to try to make it a single layer. So you can see the stuff is really thin, but again, I think it's better because the fibers are nice and loose. So 
So, so far it seems like this is working, but I think what I might do is once I get a good area covered, I may just rub glue over top of it to make sure it's going to solidify the way I want it to. So now that I have a good portion of my face covered, I'm just going to dip my fingers in this glue. Try not to get too much. And then carefully try to spread it over the gauze. Now a lot of parts look really, like really thin, but I only want to get a base for right now. I just want something that's molded to my face and then once this is done and it dries I'm going to thicken it up with newspaper and then computer paper to give it a nice white finish. It'll make a very nice blank canvas for you to work on if when you want to decorate it. I'm going to be using acrylic as my medium. Um, I love playing with acrylic, so... Hey guys, so I went and I used the blow dryer to get the mask off. I didn't want to record me blow drying the mask because it's boring and it's loud, but um, I wanted to take, peel the mask off in front of you guys, but unfortunately as I was blow drying it was getting like tighter and tighter and it wasn't sticking to my face as well so I just kind of took it off when I was doing that so what I would recommend if you're going to use the blow dryer method is to set it on low heat high or medium heat low so basically what I did was I put the hair dryer around all the edges started peeling the edges and then kept doing that until I could kind of scrunch my face and get the rest of it off. Um, I did get it in my hair. It hurts. Um, I got cleaned up as best as I could without getting a shower and tried to get the Vaseline off my face and there's still little bits in my hair. I'm positively sure of it. But what I decided to do was because it's not very hard. It's... oops still rather flimsy sorry guys still rather flimsy as you can see and I don't want it to dry like this where it's the face is gonna come out so what I did was we have one of those stickies so I took the protective tubing off of the sticky it's the extra large one on the handle and then I put the mask over it so that it'll kinda the sides will fall and then the neck will flare out just enough. I may end up using some surgical tape to st strengthen it up, you know, a couple parts. It doesn't look exactly beautiful, it's just to get me the basic shape of my face. I'm gonna use newspaper and then computer paper on it later, which will strengthen it up as well. So. For now, I kind of just have to wait for this to dry, um, and whenever it's all done drying, as you can see, it's like still kind of gooey from the Vaseline and the glue I used. I'm going to get the newspaper on it, and then let that dry, 
And I also read if you're really not in the mood to wait, you can bake it, but I'm not sure how it would turn out, if it would like wrinkle up or anything. So <clears throat> that's my mask thus far. I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to wait for it to dry and then continue what I'm doing. I'm going to get a long hot bath and get out of my gluey clothes which got everywhere. And then I'm also going to clean up my mess. So much for uh, cleaning the room yesterday. Got little white things everywhere. Alright guys, I'll see you when it's dry. Hey guys, so my mask has finally had a day or two to dry and now I'm going to be um, reinforcing it with some more paper. I wanted to do newspaper, but trick or treats in two days now and I want to be able to paint it and have it ready to go for Saturday, um, which only really gives me tomorrow and maybe Saturday morning and I need to do some fake acrylic nails on Saturday morning so I'm just going to skip the newspaper part and head straight to the computer paper part so that I can have a nice white canvas for my acrylic painting. So I got my paste back out. I cut up, well, ripped up. We want to rip it that way there's some of these like um, rougher fibers and I ripped up a whole bunch of computer paper, I ripped up some little pieces, I have some surgical tape if I would need to use it for anything just in case, and then I have my mask. And as you can see I've already started. Um, you can definitely see that there's a difference of the gauze with the glue and the white with the glue. I'm also um, trying to wrap the paper around the edges of the mask just so the edges look nice and smooth and uh, have like a nice polished look that way it won't look like that so I'm not doing this in any specific order I'm just adding paper wherever and that's our next step so when I finish this I'll be back just finished putting the computer paper on my mask. Um, just wanted to give you guys some pointers on what I had done. Um, whenever it came, sorry, um, to getting the paper ready, just use this. I took my piece of paper. I got it like completely covered and then I wiped off the excess on the side so that the mask wouldn't be too wet. Um, as you can see there's still a good bit on there but not enough that it's gonna be soaking. Um, you're gonna make a fair mess. One thing I would recommend is having paper towels nearby, putting down newspaper for your work area. I used four sheets of computer paper which obviously turned out to be way too much. I would probably start with two pieces and then see where you're at from there. So you can see my little sticky cover. Um, I decided not to use that because it wasn't big enough. My mask got very wet, very sticky, and it was really hard to hold on to at the end, so what I ended up doing was using some metal hangers and I put them through the nose holes. One, because it looked better than putting them through the eye holes because I didn't want them to be too big. And second of all, I kind of would like to breathe when I put this mask on. So. Whenever I was trying to build up spots, you can see there are a lot of imperfections. Um, I tried to put extra paper <clears throat> around the area and see if I couldn't get it about the same level. Obviously, there was a place there, a place down here, a place up on the other cheek, and this really big bit down here where my mask actually tore 
with the plaster. I'm going to have to patch that up now. So, I had to <clears throat> use extra paper just to get those areas built up. Now, it didn't work as well as I would have hoped it would, so what I'm going to try to do is use those uh, deformations to my advantage when I paint it tomorrow. I'm just going to try to paint it and the cheeks might be good. I can make them look like really gaunt cheeks. The neck, I can make them look like big veins or something. I'm not really sure what angle I want to go with it, but let me see if I can do this. As I said, it gets very sticky and it's very hard to hold. I took all my bits of paper and I tried to wrap them around the edges. Whoop, that one didn't stay. Um, any bits that didn't stay, I'm going to try to fix them up tomorrow. But what I ended up doing is I ended up getting a, like a container that we keep our old buttons in. You can probably grab anything circular and then to, because as you see right now, it's very wet so it's sagging in quite badly. So what I want to do is make sure it stays wide enough for my face. Now as you can see, it keeps wanting to roll over. Sorry. Oh, come on. So what I ended up doing was putting it between, well, shit. Putting it between these two jugs, which I'm going to have to realign um, after I get off camera. So, that's about it for tonight. I'm going to let this baby dry. If for some reason you are in a giant hurry, I heard that you can uh, bake it for about half an hour on warm. And then it should be dry enough to do more to it if you want to add more layers or just go ahead and paint. I'm going to let mine dry overnight because it's already like 9.30 and I don't care to wait another half an hour to bake it. I'm a patient person. So... Tomorrow I'm going to paint it, and I'll show you guys how I paint it. I do have a sketch. Um, it's not a great sketch. Basically, I want... Um, it, it's going to be an angry face with just black eyes. I'm going to get some black nylon and stretch it and hot glue it to the back of the mask so I can see through it, but it still looks like it's just completely black. Um, I'm going to have these really big teeth that I'm going to make out of modeling clay, which I'll then have to super glue onto the mask and then cover with more paper mache. Um, if I don't get time to do that, I really want a 3D look, but if I don't get time, I might just paint them on. And then I have all these like cracks and a big scar. I don't know if I want the big scar or not. And then the mouth, I know it looks really stupid right now, but it's going to be all like black. But it's going to be very black at the center, and then it's going to sort of radiate out, as you can see with my crappy little star. And I'm going to make it brighter red. So it's going to be black in the center, and it's going to be black, reddish, blackish, reddish, out towards the outer side of the mouth. And I'm avoiding the sides with teeth because I feel like that's really not how teeth work and even though this is a completely fictional weird thing that I'm just gonna keep it sort of realistic so these are my plans for my painting tomorrow I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and I will see you guys in the morning when I'm ready to either make some teeth or just go straight to painting alright <laughs>